Guess who's here? <laughs> He's here! Hello! <laughs> I was Hi. completely lost like... Hi! Hi! Hi. Hi. Yeah. Welcome in Piba! Finally! Yeah! show and tell of the bonnets. Olivia wants to try on some bonnets to see the difference in the materials. <laughs> well, here just popped around the corner. And we were just talking about turbans and saying that how both we have like a difficulty about like construction of turbans. So this was actually my first attempt at a turban and I made like a buckram uh, base. But it's more like a pillbox kind of turban. <laughs> So this is the this is that buckram I was telling you about the little, the little bit of floppy one that's mo made both of these and then for Melchior I made also a turban which is pretty heavy actually so I actually made a cast of that same buckram of his head and then I put it on a on a hat and then I started draping this all around. It's pretty heavy. But that that's what my how far my turban skills have gone. But I want to make like a Georgian turban. That is not as heavy as this one. I feel it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty heavy. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> you can see the Alibaba costumes. <laughs> so we are really bad uh, hosts yeah. because we let our guests sleep in a closet. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, it's like a dream girl <laughs> sleeping dream in closet. all those costumes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> all right. Welcome to my closet. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is some stuff here. And all the hats. Yeah. yeah. This one is pretty heavy too. Yeah. Well, this is one is made of the heavy buckram. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can see that. A bit dirty. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right. Oh, do you want to see something fun? Yeah. What is that, smoke? So Melchior made this. Wow. And it's made out of cardboard. That's yeah, mask. cardboard. That's a price. Yeah, it's on sale. <laughs> ah, okay. For sale. And I don't know if there's batteries in here. We can lead up. Oh, no. So the, I don't know if you can see the eyes really well, but these light up green. Oh, and it's a really cool effect. So it's like you you put it on top of your head, yeah, or and then this is this is where you look. Oh, okay. So it's really a mask. Yeah, it's okay. a mask. And this was made for a event that had a Beauty and the Beast, ha. the Belle et la Bête team. So thing. you were wearing your yellow one, I guess? Yes, that's what I made that dress for. Okay. And then Melchior, I made the Prince Albert uniform for him. In yeah. In combination with the mask. Uh -huh. Two cosplays in one. Uh, Melchior! <laughs> Help! Racket Ralph is at it again. You broke what? Oh, I'm I'm preventing it from breaking down. <laughs> Can you put it on the shelf, please? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. So let's get cracking. Yeah. Let's go. So this is that buckram I told you about. Mm -hmm. Um. The light one, yeah, which is as you can see, very floppy. Super floppy. Yeah, but it's well, it's still, it's it's still kind of kind of. Yeah, once yeah. you once you like this is the, so this yeah. is the metal the wire. It's Springsteen. So okay. Let me see. So is it 
uh, really for millinery or um, well, it's it just basically it's it's spring steel, and yeah. I buy it. It's it comes for me. It comes in pieces of one meter. Okay. Um, I haven't found the this supplier doesn't uh, sell it like continuously. Okay, you you uh, can buy a roll. Uh, I I'm still I need to find uh, that from okay. this this quality. Okay. So the the good thing about this, I don't know if you can tell. So this, when you bend it, it wants to go back in its original form, unless you like, like forcefully bend it, then it will go, and then it will keep that form as well. So n it's not like of those like flimsy wires, you know, that mm -mm -mm. You, you do this and mm -mm. it come out and you never get it straight again. Mm -mm. This one wants to go straight. That's why it's called spring steel because okay. it springs back into shape. So this is the heavy duty buckram. Yes. Very hard to sew, I think. Yes, and it's also hard to pin your your oh, hat yeah, pins to. Uh -huh. So once this is the this is still a, a work in progress. Um, once you've sewn this also, then it's basically like a round structure. It's pretty sturdy. Oh, so the the, the shape is it the same as your this straw is also, bonnet? Yeah, oh, this okay. is the same shape as the ones down that I just showed you previously. Okay. Um, but this one, on its own, on its own, like keeps its shape because of the well. Is it needed then uh, to to add the wire? Yeah. Also, because it's also wire. a protection of the brim. Like okay, very hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This one, it's it's yeah, it protects the brim and uh, also to keep it in shape like this. Okay. Um, like the other one that was made out of this. Yes. It get it got floppy. Yeah, and even there was like a dent in the br in the the crown. Yes, and by the way, I wanted to ask you if you had some wires uh, inside the, the the head. Uh, no, there's a wire here. Okay, okay. And then there's a wire here. There's no wires in here anymore. Yeah, you don't you don't have like a structure like. No, doesn't need to. Okay. And if this is this one. This one buckles. Well, but for that one, will, that one. one, yeah, this one will buckle. If okay. you if you put force on it, yeah. So like this, th I won't. I I'm not able to like. Yeah, no, it's put a dent in this. Okay. Okay. Um, but the the downside of this one is once, um, I think s silk won't be a problem. But if you cover this with wool, like I've done with the uh, the Duchess one, mm. it's it gets pretty heavy. And then uh, if you want to like pin your uh, hat pins through it. Oh, it's, it's going to be uh, very difficult because there is no holes in it. Yeah, so what I would recommend is like pierce one on, like yeah. pre-pierce it. Okay. Keep your hat pin in it, but just like yeah, you with see, a point, yeah. put it on and then like push it through okay. your hair. Um, but yeah, maybe I think this is the most heaviest one. They also call this theater buckram because it needs to withstand like... Uh, Heavy use, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think there's a like um, a uh, a softer version of this one, like a medium. Yeah, between this yeah. one and this one. Yeah, um, and I think I might go for that one if that's available. I have to see at work if I can find an example piece. Yeah, um, maybe the the medium one would be the one that I would or order. Yeah, because also find it. <laughs> this one. Your uh like this one I can do with machine. I can sew like a zigzag on yeah, this with Yeah, this one machine. you you have to do it. I wouldn't recommend doing that with this and uh doing this by hand it's it's tough. It's it's you 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 feel it in your hands. <laughs> uh yeah, so that's also why this is not finished yet. This was the first okay. bonnet I made. Yeah. And then I quit because uh too 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 hard. It is really hard, and I thought this is going to be too heavy duty. And I, and then I switched over to this one for okay. the straw. Also, the the plan was to make a straw bonnet from from this. No no no, this was to be this was this was supposed to be a silk covered bonnet. Okay. Yeah, and then I want to make went to make and did the mm. straw bonnet from this, and then I made also the silk. Yeah, yeah I think it's gonna be very hard. Uh, yeah. Time comes to me also. Just be Just careful of the end. Yeah. Well, my, my, my bun is very high. Yeah. Oh, it's very heavy. Yeah, that's what I said. It's heavy compared to this one. Yeah. But the the thing with this one is also is that you probably can uh, mold it, shape it. Like the um, once once you've connected 
don't do the wire here, I think we'll be able to shape it just like the uh, the straw one, like that. No, you can't. Well, you have to you have to use steam, steam it. Yeah, steam okay. it. Okay. Because that's. Oh yeah, because of the. Yeah. The when you when you steam it, you will, you'll be able to like shape it. Yeah. Okay. And that that's what you are looking for. S just shape it a bit. Yeah, that's what I did. You don't want one. to 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 to. To have it stay a bit like well, this one it's now it's the same as the ground as the green one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And okay. Um, the straw bonnet was in the beginning also as that, but then I I put it on the on the head and mm -hmm. then I like put a a tape over it like this mm -hmm. and I put it on the on the head and then I steamed it and let it cool off like that. Okay. So it would keep the it's shape a better. Okay. And it will always. Uh, when she released the the tape, it will string it will spring back a little bit, mm. but it will be more shaped. Okay. Okay. But do a bit by bit. Well, that's still a pretty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. So I've taken apart. I've demolitioned Olivia's yeah. dress. <laughs> Um, for it's for the it's for a good cause because she had some uh, fit issues with the sleeves um, and the bodice. And the bodice. So um, I'm I've taken it apart. I'm going to clean it up a little bit on the inside, the edges, and I'm going to add boning. We need to let it out a little bit. I'm going to adjust her shoulder seams because she could not lift her arms. Um, here are the sleeves, which are ginormous, and even for 1830s, they were too ginormous. <laughs> so we're going to actually um, make them a bit smaller, and then that's the skirt down there. And here is Olivia making a collar. A collar, a camisette. Well, trying to understand how it's made. Yeah, <laughs> mainly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, let's try this. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but... We don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, that's basically what we're going to do for four days. <laughs> Sewing in our pajamas because Yay! this is a pajama party. Um, and also because I wanted to show you, um, basically every time, the moment I get home, I change into my pajamas. I am when I'm at home. I am always in my pajamas. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So, uh, I also, you know, want to lift the veil of, um, or like, as... Backstage. Uh, backstage, or as Zach calls it, City 7th, lift the veil of the perfectness uh. of Instagram and social media and YouTube. Because we're not. I mean, who doesn't sew in their pajamas and don't get dressed or brush their teeth or brush oh, their hair? Or, or wash... Or wash, or okay. take a shower. I mean, I don't. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is only hair and face. Well, yeah. Here. So um, I think it's what is it? It's almost four o'clock already. I think Mirta will be here in an hour, and then we're going to have dinner, and then we're going to crash on the couch and. Do the Q&A, because you guys have sent in questions, we're going to do a Q&A, maybe play a game, and then go to bed and then do this all over again tomorrow, and Sunday, and Monday, and then she's going back home. Yeah. Right. There were a few from the Instagram stories, I think, because I know you, oh, yeah, you yeah. asked one. You, no, you, you, you asked one before. Oh, yeah. No, no, she, we already oh, answered. Oh, oh, no, we didn't answer. Jules is here. Yeah, it's actually she's like yeah. next. Uh, what time? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're oh, wondering period, what period? time period or of costume would you guys never do? Never do. Never do. Yeah, I I already said like <laughs> regency. Regency. Because well, I just yeah. Sorry. Well, you don't like the fashion style, right? I don't like. So for me. That's why I love the 1830s so much because it it suits my figure. I'm a natural hourglass. I'm white here, I'm white here, small here, and white on the hips. So 
1830s yeah. exaggerates that ex only more. Yeah. Regency, the the focus is mainly on here, and then from down there it's just blah. In my opinion, <laughs> sorry if I offend anyone. <laughs> um, and that just um, it makes me look. There's no waste. There's it's straight, and mm -hmm. it just I no. <laughs> <laughs> And then, besides the, the not liking the fashion of that, is that um, so here in the Netherlands, they there are like historical groups and historical dances and historical balls, but it's mainly Regency. So um, <laughs> it's kind of as a historical costumer um, here in this country, it's kind of shoved in your face. Well, which actually make makes it for me to dislike it more, and I'm sorry if I <laughs> <laughs> if I uh, uh, okay. insult anyone or offend anyone, but that's just my feeling, yeah. and yeah. I, I I feel more at home in the 19th century, af after the 1820s. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot more Regency groups and costuming involved yeah. than any other period. Yeah, although it is expanding. It's, easy it's it's expanding. Yeah, but it's also an easy access. Like yeah, people yeah. That, that begin my, my first costume was Regency. Yeah. yeah, and it's probably also because of the well, the books are. Uh, yeah, yeah, and Jane Austen helps. Yeah, yeah, Jane Austen is so popular. Yeah. So, and everyone sees the Jane Austen movie, so they're like, oh yeah, I, I want to do that. I want to do yeah. that. <laughs> so. And yeah. it's an it's an easy, uh, period to to start in. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. Because that, that's why I started there yeah. because then I could sort of get away with skipping underwear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Here um, you, girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's yeah. that's my opinion. And uh, for you, it's the same, right? For, no, you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you. Well, <laughs> well, not for the dresses, but <laughs> well, uh, the dresses. Well, I don't really like this style of dresses because. They always make me think of those nightgowns, uh, <laughs> like uh, the, the girl from Peter Pan. Oh, oh yeah, Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> yeah, Wendy has a basically it's a she's wearing a nightgown, but it's like Regency, it's, it's like Regency yeah. style. But it's actually set in the Belle Epoque era. Yeah. Yeah. So that uh, connection for me is always like hmm, <laughs> people in nightgowns. <laughs> <laughs> So, and but the the men fashion, well, well, I like the uniforms, but the regular fashion of men don't really speak to me that much. I think it was at its craziest at during the thirties. Yeah. So, so <laughs> yeah, shape wise at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for you, Nanta? I don't think. Well, it says never do, and the period I like least is 1920s, but I do actually have a 1920s dress. So, so that's you've already done it, so that's yeah. <laughs> I mean, I had a party, and <laughs> it, it was quick, but I think my reason for not liking the 20s is sort of similar, mm. in that it doesn't look flattering on yeah. me at all, mm -hmm. because you need to basically cut a dress all the width of the widest part of your body, and I'm very, very like that. So what normally looks big at the top on the 1920s dress the way it's supposed to looks huge when <laughs> i do it <laughs> it yeah i just there's no figure left yeah. if i wear and uh, the one i have sort of has gathers at the top and then it sort of drapes and then i slightly avoid the effect <laughs> 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 um yeah so it's not that i never do it but i would say that's my least okay. favorite um for me, it's quite difficult because uh, actually the, the thing that I uh, uh, liked liked <laughs> here at past tense here <laughs> uh, the least uh, were uh, dresses with huge sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I would say uh, I hated um, uh, 1890s. Yeah, the Belle Epoque. Yeah, because of the mainly because of the day outfits and afterwards because of the ball ones. Mm -hmm. I found them very ridiculous. First, because uh, contrary to the um, 1830s, uh, the, the skirts are very flat at the hips mm. and you have uh, more volume uh, for uh, 1830s. So it's it's quite, it evens yeah. the, the thing. Yeah, the yeah. silhouettes. Yeah. 
and also uh, the decorations uh, on the top of the, 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 the ball bodices mm -hmm. or even the, the day outfits uh, I found that uh, found them very you know unflattering very fluffy you have too much here mm -hmm. so it's <laughs> and coming from me it's very difficult because uh, I actually <laughs> like a lot of stuff on the body so <laughs> the more the merrier uh, but afterwards um, I discovered that uh, this time timeline uh, was not actually only focused on big sleeves so you could sh you, you can actually uh, switch for something uh, maybe tighter uh, mm -hmm. so well I, I can't say that I don't like the, the period uh, and for 1930s actually I didn't like the period because uh, 19 I or 18? 18 sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 1830 sorry uh, I found it uh, ridiculous as, yeah. as, as most, most of the world I mean yeah. I, I started that way out as well so it's yeah. sort of fun but it's yes, also for the 1830s because the ridiculousness yes. is fun in itself so. And actually, uh, I don't like uh, most of the um, uh, fashion plates of the time of the period. No, no, because oh it's very, very difficult for me to get inspired by um, uh, original fashion plates. Oh, really? I find more uh, ins inspiration by looking at actual costumes made now. Okay. Yeah, oh. to recreate mm -hmm. because um, it's simpler sometimes mm -hmm. because. I mean, I'm, I'm a me. <laughs> so, so we most of the people don't go um, um, uh, well uh, at the end of the uh, ridi ridiculousness. Yeah, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Mm. We, people we didn't, but people didn't push through. Yeah. To, yeah. to add, yeah, and that's the, that's what I've um, um, I also noticed that um, to actually complete do the 1830s right and actually get over the the ugliness of it <laughs> is actually go over the top yeah <laughs> and people are hesitant to go over the top because it's such an, a yeah. crazy era so they actually like subdue it a little bit yeah. and then yeah. you don't reach full you, potential no, the full yeah. and then, mm. then, then, then it just looks a bit go, sad yeah and then people <laughs> go like yeah it's so blah yeah. But um, if, actually, if you go, you know, uh, you have to embrace, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. go <laughs> full out, and yeah. then uh, when you look in the mirror with that crazy hair and all the stuff that's that you can put <laughs> in yeah, that hair, exactly, and the silly curls, and then just look at the sleeves, and I guarantee you, it will bring a smile on your face. Yes, <laughs> but the thing is uh, that um, for this timeline fashion. Um, it's an it's a the old look is a whole in itself. Yeah, you you, you can't wear uh, this kind of dress without the the appropriate no, accessories. No, no, yes, yeah. yeah. then it doesn't yeah. look right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, needs, it needs its accessories. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. need old stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, but well, as you said, um, it's when you go full out and uh, embrace the ridiculousness. Uh, then you have fun and uh, I, I discovered that I actually love this period and now I just can't think about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> so well, thank you Nikki! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> That's it for this question. Yeah. Okay. Do you know the... Um, Les Ballets du Trocadéro? No. Well, no. It's in French, well, it's in Monaco actually, and it's a, uh, well, no, they're not French, well, anyway. It's a band of guys who are dancing on points. Oh, yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. And they are trying to... Oh. This is just so perfect, I, I just... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> 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 so guys, this is Alice through the looking glass by the Royal Opera, Ho Opera House. Um, and this is the best ballet scene that's ever been made. <laughs> As you can tell. Go watch it. If you can. And she's actually eating the cake. Yeah, she's eating the cakes. <laughs> that's Mirta. Here you are. At the uh, fabric maker, yes. 
Utrecht in Utrecht. And we are. Um, yeah, it's been raining. I tried to vlog earlier, but it's raining very bad, so now it's dry. Yes, let's enjoy quite yeah. a pose in the rainy stuff. Yeah. All the fabrics. So at the moment I am redoing Olivia's sleeves because um even with the 1830s, yes, you can go over the top. <laughs> um, this is my hand. So, this was what it was before, and it was like way too big. Um, and so, we downsized to this one. And then I still need to make the slit for her arm, but this is about like well the same size my sleeves are and it will fit with a plumber and then she's a happy camper <laughs> so first fitting for the remodeling of uh, Olivia's bodice she had some trouble lifting her arms and she still has a bit, a bit but uh, because we are going to lower this so she can get a little bit more reach and then retry i took it in a little bit here took it out on the side seams and then some adjustments on the waistline because now it's uh, doing stuff yeah. <laughs> but um so far so good yeah. all right second fitting we did quite the alterations on this one yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see the blue lines. That's where the original dart was. We're going to take away a little bit of here because there is quite some space there. A lot of space from the side seam. And um, a lot from this panel. And then we lowered the um, armpit. And that's it. And we marked her waist. And this is going to be your day outfit for the coat. Yes. Yeah. The 1830s day outfit. Yes. Alright. Happy? Yes. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Uh I just finished the slit in Olivia's sleeve and we just joked that she's having a maxi pad in her sleeve. <laughs> uh, so, um, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to gather so I can put it in the bodice. And the first thing I always do is I mark um, quarters and then I do this in a bodice so the pleats are evenly divided when you set the sleeve in. <laughs> How is your pajama party going so far? Right now I mean pajama and corset. So yeah. Sewing and corset. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a real pro. <laughs> Always. Oh my god. Hi. It's Sunday. No, it's Monday. Yeah, it's She's... Monday already. It's already Monday. Olivia leaves tomorrow morning. We haven't filmed much though because I don't know, I just find it weird filming while I sew. Maybe it's just something I have to get used to to show you guys what we're doing. Um but it's mostly been working on mock ups for you. Yeah. Fitting. Yeah. And for me taking Olivia's dress apart. Yeah. <laughs> and reassembling so, it. Actually it looks way better than it did before, so it was, it I try was my best. I try my best. She yeah. trusted me though. Yeah. Never do that. 
I'm not to be trusted. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Truth is, I'm holding her hostage. So. Hey, please help me. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> anyway, back to sewing. Yeah. Bye. Hi. Hi. Uh, it is Monday evening. Yeah, you have to get up at five tomorrow. <laughs> because what? This, what? Because this girl needs to catch a train at seven fifteen. Yeah, bad idea. Worst idea ever. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thanks so much for. Thank you coming and yeah. have a have, have a four day long pajama party <laughs> <with me. laughs> like literally mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it was really fun yeah sewing and you know demolishing your pink dress your cotton candy dress. <laughs> yes <laughs> i take pleasure out of it yeah <laughs> I saw that. It was crazy, like uh, almost scary. <laughs> no, it's I just I just like um I, I've told you this before but I haven't told yeah. this on camera but um it's basically what I've what I do at work. It's almost like restoration work. I work on costumes that are like sixty years old and they, they've been rep, um had repairs done, bad repairs and then repairs on repairs on repairs and then it's just I take pleasure out of taking all those old repairs out and then doing one good repair that will last yeah. very long and i'm not saying that her dress was 60 years old well. and full of repairs <laughs> i am not Look saying this like this <laughs> no <laughs> um it's just uh I, I i also want uh to share the things i've learned in work and um in my years of costuming costuming shared it with other people yeah Sure, it was very uh, interesting and uh, learnful. Uh, yeah, like I, I, I think I, I've learned a lot more in four days than in uh, the six years I've been uh, trying to sue and do stuff. <laughs> I mean, I thought I was getting better, but when she actually destroyed my dress, she said, <laughs> "Well." There's some stuff like you shouldn't do that. <laughs> no, I didn't say you shouldn't no, do it. I just said no. like uh, certain ways to you know improve fits. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. And also yeah. like um, surging because yeah. They, they Actually, I have a serger. And she's uh, never used yeah. it before <laughs> because uh, it's a scary machine. <laughs> No, it will. It will, especially with silk. It will uh, make your costumes last longer, uh, and and not be like a unraveling. Yes, that's what happens mess. all the time. <laughs> On the inside. Yeah, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> well, actually, they, they, I try to to make them look pretty. On the outside, but I always tell people who are saying, "Oh, it's a good costume." Well, don't look inside. <laughs> no, well, it's still, but it's not necessarily pretty. And you know? well, we can go on about this, but that was not yeah. our point. We the our point was to actually say goodbye because it's sleepy <laughs> time, and we just well, we can because no! we can talk about this for hours longer. Yeah, just I mean, that's we what should have I, started actually, earlier. Yeah, what we did for four days now yeah. but we didn't record it <laughs> no. yeah I, I i just find it difficult to pick up the camera and uh w while i'm doing stuff that for me are like boring or not interesting but well there was a lot going on so we had a, a, a kind of a, a, a lot of stuff in our minds yeah that's true and also silent moments or singing moments karaoke songs but um yeah um so if you guys liked this kind of vlog um we didn't really have an end result yet to show that will, will come soon um i'm also working on a making of video of a corset i'm working on so that's a little bit of a trial and error um just let me know if you guys like this kind of contact contact content <laughs> 
It's been a long four days. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, let me know and then maybe we can plan some more of these weekends in pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> but for now, sleepy time. Sleepy time. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. <laughs>